Tonight's 9 o'clock movie is The Magnificent Seven. An all-star cast, Gil Brenner, Eli Wallach, Steve McQueen, Robert Vaughn, James Coburn, and Charles Bronson band together in this exciting western to protect a small Mexican village from the bandits preying on its citizens. Now enjoy with us top-notch action, adventure, with The Magnificent Seven. Marsha Mason, if you are a parent, you must watch Whatever Happened to Lori Jean Lloyd, a shocking documentary about runaways. And this is my sister who ran away four years ago, and we think they look alike. We need to find out who this girl is here. If your child were to run away from another state and come to New York, we have no way that we can really guarantee to you that your child will still be here tomorrow. Whatever Happened to Lori Jean Lloyd, a one-hour documentary, Saturday at 10, here on Television 28. Now we return to The Magnificent Seven, starring Yul Brenner and Steve McQueen. Good evening. For News Center 28, I'm Frank Lasseter, and here's what's happening. Richard Queen is now a former U.S. hostage. He arrived in Zurich today and was immediately hospitalized. His parents are on their way to Switzerland. At Fishkill this week in the Noose River, reported more extensive than officials at first thought. 44 people have died in recent months at an outbreak of Legionnaire's disease at a Los Angeles Veterans Hospital. And the rumors are flying at the Republican National Convention in Detroit. The latest rumors say George Bush may be Ronald Reagan's choice for vice president. And law enforcement officials in Durham raided four adult bookstores today. We'll have these stories and more coming up at 11.30 on New Center 28. I hope you'll join us. Next Friday in the 9 o'clock movie, Godfrey Cambridge and Raymond St. Jacques star in the free-for-all cops and robbers film Cotton Comes to Harlem. Great fun next Friday night at 9 on Television 28. There's a lot going on at the Raleigh-Durham airport right now. A new addition to the terminal, work on the runway and lighting systems, additional parking spaces and new buildings. But in a manner of speaking, long-range expansion plans are tied up in committee and you are the committee. We'll examine what's happening with those plans over there, Monday, July 21st at 7 p.m. Good evening. For News Center 28, I'm Frank Lasseter, and here's what's happening. Richard Queen is a free man tonight. He arrived in Zurich today and was hospitalized for a neurological disorder. That fish kill in the Noose River is more extensive than reported earlier. According to rumors today at the GOP convention site in Detroit, George Bush may be a leading contender for the vice presidential slot. And we have the final segment in our four-part series on acupuncture. We'll have these stories and more coming up at 11.30 on News Center 28. Helen Reddy joins Carol tomorrow night at 7. And now back to our feature. Charles Bronson, Steve McQueen, James Coburn, and Robert Vaughn starring in The Magnificent Seven. <laughs> 